you ever see uh, people with those little stronghold crusader modifications where they change some of the background images like this? Well, <clears throat> thankfully it's not too hard. Some people have built some tools to make this process pretty seamless. Um, shout out to GMB mod for background asset here and for GM1 converter creators for creating the tool I'm about to introduce. Firefly, all of the open source community as well. Um, so before we get started, um, first thing you should do is make a backup of your Stronghold Crusader folder um, because we're going to make some changes to it and if you don't have a backup then well that could be problematic. So the next thing you want to do is download the um, the, the stuff in the description. It's just the GM1 converter. I think that's all I put in there. And uh, inside of that uh, folder, it should look kind of like this. GM1 converter. Cool. It's up over there, actually. I'll keep it up over there. So this is my stronghold, uh, stronghold folder on the right, my copy, and my GM1 converter on the left here. So I'll open it up. And basically what the GM1 converter tool does is um, it looks for the GFX and the GM folders, which contain these weird file types, TGX inside of the GFX and GM1 inside of the GM folder. And it converts those into PNGs, and then I can then play with those PNGs and then convert them back into those funky files and inject them back in the Stronghold Crusader. So that's what the software tool does. So in order to do that, we'll have to tell it where our Stronghold Crusader folder is. Um, and in this case, I'm just gonna highlight our copy folder, select, cool. And then I'm also going to tell it where our work folder is. This is where it's going to export our um, uh, our our PNG files. So work folder for YT. Cool. All right. So now that we've done that, it still looks like nothing showed up. But that's because we're highlighted on GM1 right now, and it's not going to show up. And we'll get to that later. We will get that to show up. Don't worry. Um, we'll just click on it toggles it over to GFX, which contains all the GTX files. Now, I'm going to look for uh, one of those first pictures, front end loading. Let's see here, front end loading. Sweet. So this is the one that I want to modify. So in order to do that, I'm going to export TGX as image. And upon doing that, we saw that little thing pop up here. And if I actually go into my work folder, YT, hey, look at that, it created a little new file. Sweet. So then I can uh, pull this out and play around with it, whatever. In this case, I've already created a, uh, a new file, so I'm going to paste it in. Uh, copy and replace, you can do for all conflicts if you're doing multiple. Sweet. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back to the GM1 converter and import image as TGX. And now we got this flipped upside down dark version. Cool. And then we'll create a new TGX. We'll see that happen up in the work folder and then replace with saved TGX file and that injects it into the actual GFX folder and we can test that by then going to Stronghold Crusader EXE and we should see the flipped upside down image now. Boom! Pretty sweet! Awesome! You can alt tab or you can just click the Windows key in that or you can click Windows D but then that minimizes everything. Um, so that worked out! Sweet! That's how, you, and then you can just go and do that for all this stuff. So now we're going to do it for the GM folder. Where is everything? Well, it's kind of funny. The way it works is uh, in order to um, point GM1 converter toward it, you cannot just have the main uh, folder highlighted. You actually do have to have the GM folder specifically highlighted. So in order to edit GFX files, you're not highlighting this and clicking select folder. You're, you're clicking the main file for GFX, but for GM files, and I just use GFX and TGX interchangeably, uh, but for the GM1 files inside the GM folder, you actually have to specifically highlight the GM1 folder. Don't go inside of it, just highlight it. Select folder, cool. And then um, right now it still has that old image from, the, from that old file or whatever, but if I actually just click on anything from here, this is our GM1. So GM1 contains uh, all these, oh, everything's really dark right now. Oh, I think I have like a night mode thing going on right now. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I have night mode, don't I? Yep, I do. Okay. So, uh, in this case, let's edit, uh, 
I know that the interface icons is a fun, fun place to edit. Interface icons too, yeah. Yeah, so this is the dark mode patch here. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description for the dark mode patch. This is pretty fun. Works for 1.41 as well. HD and uh, maybe extreme. Uh, so let's see here. Let's, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Any of these photos in here, as long as it's in the interface icons uh, section, um, I'm going to go up to export images. Or what I can do is he's put this tool in here. She, I don't know who made this. Um, and I'll actually go back to this folder just so you can kind of see it happen. And I'm going to click export images. Ooh, look at that interface icons too. When we pull that up, we see images and everything is in there. So we can play with all that stuff. We can goofball around with it. We can change things. And, uh, so you haven't seen the dark patch, so I'll show you what the dark patch kind of does. Um, it does a few things beyond just making these things dark. It changes the audio too, but we won't get into that today. Um, but in this case, yeah, what they did is they, you know, they just pulled this image out, they made whatever changes they wanted to it, and then they pasted it back in, ensuring that the size and file name was the same, and that it was also a PNG. And then what you would do is you would go to, uh, well, let's just make some minor change here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to make a change. Um, Let's do, well, let's just assume that I've made all these changes. So then what I would do is I would go uh, import images or I would go to import images and uh, then you would see any sort of changes pop up here. Sorry, sorry. I was, I was really debating making a change, but one of the things I found out a little while ago is that if you rotate an image like this and then you know, just X out of it. It it previews over here, but it doesn't uh but it doesn't actually make and it also previews inside GM1 convert, but it doesn't actually load up the change inside of uh Stronghold Crusader. So if you want to change a photo you actually do have to bring it into some sort of photo editor and like make a or you know solid whatever rasterized copy. I don't know what it's called. Um but assuming you did that then you would click uh, import images and then it would, you know, bring in whatever flipped upside down thing you got or something. And then after that, we would click, um, and I'll actually go back here just so you can see what happens. Um, we would click uh, create new GM1, and we'll see that pop up here. And I don't think we can replace, yeah, with saved GM1 file. I, I, there's probably just a simple way to do that. Leave it in the comments if you know how to do it. I just haven't figured it out yet. Um, it's just one of those quirks. Um, but anyway, we see these things pop up. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, save is the old one. So this is like kind of your backup, which I don't rely on it. I just have my own solid backup of everything. Um, but uh, then there's the modded version. So that's the wrong file name. It won't work in this condition. So I'm going to change the file name just to interface icons two, And then I'm going to copy. And, uh, and then I'm going to find my GM1 folder, GM folder, which contains GM1 files. And then I'll just paste it in anywhere in here, replace the file. Cool. And then now when I go to play Stronghold Crusader, not only is, do I get my flipped upside down image, um, once again, shout out to GMB here. Uh, let's just load up any map. So you saw like all those, you know, everything was really dark and that's because this mod is for night mode. Um, so everything is a little bit dark here. So let's, uh, let's launch a game. Ooh, spooky. That's pretty sweet. Well, there's one more thing that's kind of fun to check out. Um, inside of the GM1 area, maybe it's inside the GFX area. I don't know, it, maybe it's just in the GM1. If you highlight over some of the different things in there, you'll get these um, you'll get these color tables. These color tables are really cool. I'm actually gonna point this at a different stronghold folder really quick, just so we can get a little more um, light on the situation. 
Okay, so we get these uh, these color tables, and these are kind of what define, you know, which team you're on. You know, I'm, you can see I'm changing everything here. But what's kind of cool is not only can I kind of mix things up, so you can be on the purple team, but you can have yellow characters or something like that, but I can really get into it and I click change color table, or I can even export the color table. Uh, export, you probably see it faster than me. Is it right at the top? Yeah, <laughs> export's the first one. Uh, export color table. Uh, and if I export the color table, that should go into our um, work folder. And our work folder didn't change. We pointed it to a different stronghold folder, but our work folder stayed the same. So we have this color, this set of color tables here. And you know what you can do is you can bring this into a an editor of some sort, and you can change contrast and stuff. Or you can actually just go in. And what I've done is, you know, I've actually just placed you know squares on top of these squares, and it seems to work. Um, you know, just squares of my own color types. So what it's kind of cool because then you can get uh, you can get these different looking uh, characters. So let me go to. Uh, I think I have a version in here somewhere that's not, uh, that's got like some, just some cool, some cool lords. And it was in, 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 in these weird things were achieved just by messing with the color tables. So instead of having to make my own unique animations frame by frame and then exporting the PNGs, which there are ways to do that, and I can make a video on that later about how to quickly export lots of PNGs and make well, it doesn't matter, but either way, um, yeah, <laughs> you can see I changed some more photos there. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's just load up a game real quick. GMB shout out for all those background photos. And now let's take a look at one of the one of the lords here. So you can see this lord looks a certain way, but now look at where's my lord? Oh, is he just off screen? Of course, I would choose a map where he's just off screen. Alright, here we go. Yeah, so look at how shiny that Lord is right there. You know, it's just... And that was just by messing with the color table. Like, I just, uh... Just changed, kind of pixel by pixel, the color table. And and what's kind of cool is it's not just like a, a crapshoot of totally... It's not like a total crapshoot of just guessing, because you can kind of see... You know, when you even when you look at these files, you can kind of see like, oh, you know, this is the yellow team, this is the you know purple red team, whatever. This is the green team. So when you go to edit the color table, you can kind of keep that in mind that okay, if I you know change generally this little green band, it's going to kind of determine what team color I am. And then you know, there's some skin tones and some reflection tones I think down at the bottom here, and then maybe some like uh, accent tones. I don't know. So you can just make everything crazy and it kind of looks like the king is just a shiny mess of pixels. Or you can actually be consistent with it and, and try and actually make it just like a cool new design. Um, or you can, you know, go back to the GM1 converter and just render out that entire segment of, uh, of uh, let's actually just do it really quick. You can go to the GM1 converter and just render out an entire segment and then you could, you know, bring that into an editor and just completely replace it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description because someone did a tank modification where they, it was from a long, I think I commented on the video just a moment ago, it was like a 13 year old video where they uh, replaced the catapults with tanks. And I don't know how they did it, because <laughs> I, I don't think this tool and stuff existed at that time. But, uh, you know, they found body catapult probably. And yeah, you can see this, you know, modification of the color table here really can make some magic happen. Uh, I think this that's a GMB mod uh, color table right there. GMB has some really cool colors, in my opinion. Um, but so what you can do then is you can go and export um, export images, and then we'll go to our work folder, body catapult images, and now I've got the entire you know segment of catapults. Um, so we could, you know, just have 
some other set of files. You know, if you have some, uh, yeah, I mean, th that, I mean, that's everything. So with all of this stuff, you can, <laughs> you can totally modify, uh, you know, everything. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, I think, I think that kind of covers it. Uh, once again, thank you to creator of GM1 Converter, GMB uh, mod, also the UCP mod folks, Firefly, uh, if I didn't already say it, the open source community. Remember to back up your files. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Have a lovely, lovely day.